Alright guys, Wolf Lewis here and tonight we've got another match day vlog for you guys. It's Premier League action, it's a quarter past eight kickoff. It's Manchester United versus Chelsea and on the back of a very soulless, gutless, call it whatever you like, defeat to Newcastle at the weekend. I mean, put it this way, all that has to be said, there is massive pressure on Ten Hag on the team to get some it tonight. We have a very good home record against Chelsea. I've not seen us lose against them here for, for years. Could that change tonight? Come and join me and let's see what happens. We've got to get three points tonight. Alright guys, we have just pulled up at the Trafford Centre ahead of tonight's encounter with Chelsea. I feel like it's ages since, it's, I think it's been about a month since we've, we've last had a home game. Our past, our last three games have been uh, win, draw, defeat in that order. Yeah, obviously we, we do apply for the away games, but even even the ticket situation at United is, is nonsense, isn't it? Because they can't get that right. No. Uh, and, it, and tickets just go to random people. That, that deserves another video, so we won't... We so, won't. Yeah, people pay two, three hundred, four hundred quid and they've never been to Old Trafford before and they, they end up in an away game. It's just a joke, but that's, that's another matter. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea tonight. Uh, <coughs> obviously, United are very much in, in the press at the minute, aren't yeah. they? Uh, For not the greatest reasons, of course. Uh, oh, press getting, getting uh, banned. Banned from press, uh, press, press conferences. conferences. Uh, yeah, you believe what you read, and you believe what you read. As he lost staff the dressing room, you just don't know, dear. Do but it's not. At the end of the day, it's not. It's not great on the pitch. Uh, what we've seen recently, certainly off the recent game against Newcastle, you had one team that was up for it and that was yep. organised was going for every ball, everybody knew what each other was doing and even then they were, they were a team where they had a lot of injuries, Newcastle and then you've got United who, yeah, too, too many players just don't turn up regularly you can't single players out, you know who they are um, yeah. but will Tenard pick them tonight? Um, you know, who's he going to pick? His favourites is he is he uh, is he going to stick with those who are just not trying? You just don't know what Tanara's capable of, but he he's got to hold his hands up as well. I think his starting 11s at the moment are, are crucial. You know, every team you know, that gets picked is criticised, no matter what the club is in some way. But with United, it's you know you've obviously got the the Varane situation. I say that because obviously that Sancho is not playing anytime soon. He can pick Varane, but it's what's going on behind the scenes. You know, I don't think we know an awful lot about what's gone on with Varane. No, with Sancho, it's, it's in the public eye. Yeah, it's a nonsense that we have to keep talking about this crap every week, isn't yep. it, really? Uh, I mean, who's he going to play? Is he going to... You pick your best team, don't mm. you? But, you know, even then, who, what is our best team? And, mm. you know, what do you do? Take McTominay out and put Amra back in. He's, he's what a lot of people want to do. Uh, do you have Maguire and Lindelof, Maguire and Varane? You know, can Maguire play with Varane? Uh Maynu, just stick him in there. Do you have Anthony? Do you have Garnacho and Hoyland? Or, you know, yeah. there's a lot of ifs and buts on who he's going to play. Wan Bissaka, Wan Bissaka was at fault, you know. Yeah. The way the way he, he got he got skinned for that goal against Newcastle was unacceptable. I mean, that's schoolboy stuff. But uh, yeah, talking about tonight's game, we're, you know, that's, that's gone now. So. I've not even thought of a prediction. Chelsea have got about ten players missing. They're inconsistent. Yeah. They've got I think Reese James is back, which he's he's an important player for them. Gallagher uh, Gallagher's out. Yeah, so you just don't know who's gonna turn up. You know, we've got a good record in recent times in the Premier League against Chelsea, but uh often than not these, these games can end in a draw. We tend not to score in the first half, so you just don't know what, what score it's gonna be. I mean, prediction wise, I don't care. I mean I'll, I'll go for a win. Uh, I, just, I just feel like doing predictions is a nonsense at the minute. Uh, I'll just say let, let's just let's just hope we get a win. You're not giving a prediction. No, no, I'm not bothering. Not bothering. I think Chelsea have been up and down this season. Pressure's um, on tonight for a yeah. win because we've got Bournemouth yeah. Saturday. 
and then Bayern next week. Yep. And obviously, we, it looks like we're not going to progress much further no. in Champions League unless results go our way, which we've got to beat Bayern anyway. But we've got to, got to hope that there's a draw in the other game. But mm. I mean, it's out of everybody's hands, isn't it? But tonight, I, I just think yeah, the players have got to turn up at some point. I don't know when that's going to be. But. I mean, we put four past Chelsea here at Old Trafford last season. Yeah, that was May. I mean, that's a long that's time. That's a long time ago. I can see goals. I can see goals. Chelsea, like Chelsea, so we don't score like very. Uh, we don't really. We don't turn up in the first half half the time, do we? So this could be a really dull nil nil draw. But I don't. I just don't know. I'm going. I'll, I'll, I'll go for a win, United. But I'm. I'm not confident. Obviously, I'm not confident. But. Uh, I'm going for two two. I'm going to see goals. I mean, Chelsea put four past Spurs, four past City. Um, but then again, up front, they aren't the most clinical, despite the. Well, you don't have to. When, you, when you've got Andre and Arna in goal, well, yeah, that's the you thing. could be going into your local circus uh, and he could be juggling balls and you'd get one past him. So Exactly. Uh, anyway, I'm going for a win United. I don't care how. You'll go for 2 2. See you later. Don't let me down. Now guys, fellow fish. That is a winner. Alright guys, here is tonight's starting 11. It's got Onana, Lindelof, Amba, Maguire, Fernandez is captain, Hoyland, Garnacho, Dallo, Anthony, Shaw, McTominay. And on the bench we've got Bayern Deer, Evans, Reguillon, Wambisaka, Mainu, Pelestri, Van der Beek, Rashford and Martial. Let's just get the job done tonight. Guys, just bumped into Thogden here. Come on, mate. He's moonlighting from the tough sheets. <laughs> we have to say tough, tough yeah, yeah, yeah. sheets. Gotta get it right. So, Gotta yeah. get it right. Anyway, you looking forward to tonight? I'm buzzing. I, I could go either way today. You've got Chelsea, they're coming in very excited after their five goal thriller against Brighton. And then you've got United, who come off a couple of bad results, but at home in the Premier League, they usually perform. You were in like, Turkey, weren't you? I was in For Turkey. I saw that game. And it, it depends what United's going to turn up. Have you, seen, have you seen the starting, starting 11? I've seen the 11, no Rashford. No I think Rashford. that's the right decision. Exactly. Garnacho's chose the man. I saw yeah. that in Istanbul He's and it's the same again today. Who are you expecting to turn up for Chelsea gonna, tonight? Yeah, you? I'm going to go 2 2, Garnacho and Mudrick to be like. You went for 2 2. two yeah, yeah, I went for 2 2. I said in my predictions, I'll stick with it today after seeing the lineups. So both teams come fighting. Reese James bench is a bit of a blow for Chelsea, but. I thought he'd start. Yeah, yeah, I thought me too. So. I mean, either win, but. It's yeah. what it is. <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's a good match. Nice one. Cheers, Dog Dune. Have a great What's one. What's the channel name again?
Tomine is down. I don't know what's up with him. He's been down for a couple of minutes. About a minute or two now. Well, we could have gone into half time 6 or 7 nil up, I'm not joking. And we're going to go into half time 1 1. Paul Palmer has not actually scored from a penalty. Fair play to him. I mean, when you don't take your chances, goal, when you don't take your chances, this is what you get. So I can't really complain, to be honest. Guys, it's half time now. Somehow it's United won, Chelsea won. Um, I think if we'd have taken our chances, we could be about six or seven nil up. I'm not being dramatic. It's we missed the penalty. We've had so many chances. We've been wasteful. Not just in the box, but chances to go forward as well. You think you can get so much more? But Chelsea have looked dangerous on the break. It's, to be honest, it's been a matter of time before they they scored. And, um, I suppose it was well taken by Cole Palmer. It was a bit of a, I mean, it just a weak came shot. It came out of nothing though. I mean, I don't know what Lindelof and Maguire did, no. but it was just soft. It, it, it was. It just came out of nothing. It's I disappointing because I, I think we've actually played yeah, very I well. Mean, yeah, we, we, we've actually put in a, a decent shift. I mean, it's just like, if you don't 
take chances, then you, you know, yeah, this I mean, is we came, what we came you're susceptible out, to. We came out of the blocks well, we peppered the goal, it's not quite got there, it was a poor, poor no. penalty by Bruno, didn't really have any pace on it, it was quite easy for the keeper. Now, you know, if that had gone in, you know, we had the momentum, you get the feeling that we do, we do leave gaps in midfield, you have these little counter-attacks, and suddenly there's three against two or what have you. And then, and then you've got, obviously, Anana waiting to see what happens next. So I, I'm always fearful that we're a break away of yeah. it's conceding. You know, we, we could create chances. You know, we, you know, we've harried, we've parried, we've, we, we've actually hunted down, we've got the ball. We've done all right, to be fair, but... Yeah. Day, it's only one all. This game could have been way out, of, way out of reach at the minute. That's why I'm a bit, a bit frustrated. Uh, yeah, referees giving a few needless, needless fouls and yellow cards, but that's the way refs go, isn't it? Really, yeah. you can't win with them. We, we just need to keep that momentum, but we need to come out. We need to get a goal early. We need a win. Second half. We need a I'll, win. I'll take it. I'll take a dirty, dirty two-one at a minute. This could be 2-2, two -two. it could be my prediction. I don't want that. I don't want that, I want three points. Sub for United, Lindelof on, Reggion on, and Shaw's moved to left centre back, and then Reggion's on the left. Uh, clean cut header from very close. I don't know how he's not scored that. Big shouts from ball. It was at the other end, so I couldn't really see very well, but. I don't know, it looked like, uh, like a, maybe not a, a foul. foul on a Chelsea player. So I'm not, I'm not being. I don't know, man. I don't know what. I mean, like Harlan got a penalty for a very light Kukurea touch. <laughs>
It's finished here, Manchester United 2, Chelsea 1. Well, we finally knew the dark. I think overall we played, we did play very well, I think. It was a bounce back that we needed. And to be honest with you, I think we could have scored a lot more. I think we could have scored about seven or eight with the chances that we had. Chelsea, disappointing with the goal we can see, but take it for what it is. We move on to Bournemouth for the weekend. Bournemouth are doing quite well at the moment. That won't be as easy as what people think it will be. Well, big three points. We're only three points Man City now. They've just lost to Villa. Massive. Come on.